things are about to get better for you. Uh-huh, is that the right one? I don't know if you, I said things are about to get better for you.
happen, it's getting ready to happen. Amen. When Lucifer, amen, he would call Lucifer and say, hey, I need a, amen, you to come behind the throne. And Lucifer was the only one that could get behind the throne, open up his wings, amen, and be a shadow for the, amen, the person of God. He's the only one to walk the coals of fire, amen. To our eyes, our natural eyes, Lucifer probably wouldn't have been that good to look upon because he had different rubies and different jewels in his, uh, amen, wings and different things. But he was created for God. That's right. But he did not want to serve God. He got above himself and thought that he could be above God. Amen? Because honestly, people of God, a covenant doesn't work well when you're trying to be the pastor. It only works well when you're trying to work with or serve the pastor. Because you don't know what you would do in serving you. Or do you understand that? So who uh, are the ones that the devil is real, uh, really hating in this hour, Pastor Jenkins? I'm glad you asked me. He's hating the ones that keep saying, I have to get back in my rightful place with God. There is an urgency or there is a, 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 a pull on our spirits. And I don't care uh, what you say, amen, that has been a pull in a lot of our spirits, as stubborn as you are, as stiff-necked as you are, but you can still feel that pull of God in your spirit that is saying, I've got to get back in my rightful place with God. And the devil is trying to do everything he can in his power, not for you to get back in good standards with God. He don't want you to get back into reading your word. He don't want you to get back 
to studying like you used to do. He don't want you to come back to praying like you used to do. He don't want you to fast like you used to do. So he's trying to put every obstacle in your way to stop you from getting back in good standards with God. I want you to understand, amen, it's just not, amen, it isn't just at 3.30 in the middle of the night, amen, every 3.30, amen, that you feel like it's a bathroom break. Sometimes God is trying to talk to you, and you're thinking it's just a bathroom break, but God said, I've been trying to talk to you. All these hunger pains you're feeling, it's not because you haven't eaten food, but it's a spiritual hunger, and they that hunger, amen, after righteousness shall be filled. There are some of us in here that says that got to be more that God wants me to do, amen, and I have a hunger for more of what God wants me to do. Now I want you to clap your hands and say, help me, Lord. So the devil is trying uh, to keep you in a frustrated place, uh, looking over your shoulder and worrying about, amen, uh, what folks are saying or how folks are looking or who doesn't like me, uh, how many likes I'm going to get and how many people are going to speak to me, amen, when the truth of the matter is that all, none of that matters and, and really we don't have time for all of that because you have too much work to do for the Lord to be worried about who likes you and who don't like you and who's speaking and who ain't going to speak and how many going to like my picture and how many going to befriend me, amen, we don't have time for all of that, amen, I have such a demand on my life and a mandate on my life that I don't have time to worry about who's speaking to me, who's not going to like me, let me tell you something, God has got something he wants to do with you, but we have been distracted by things, amen, because the devil knows that if you ever get back in good covenant with God, there's nothing that you ask God for that he will not withhold from you. So people of God, that's why he's trying his best, Uncle Best, to make sure I keep you at a frustrated place. I mean, just frustrated over anything. You frustrated because your hair won't lay. You frustrated because you ain't got enough waves in your hair. You frustrated because your shoes not shining. You frustrated, amen, because you got to wear the same clothes. You frustrated because the IRS said you owe money. I ain't got no help in here. You just at a frustrated place and he wants to keep you there. Every time you look in your pocketbook, amen, you look like you're broke. Every time you look at your bank account, you look like more bills come in. But I want you to understand, you that have been going through for the last three to four years or in this last season, I got some good news for you today. Amen. I got some good news that God that told me to tell you that today you are at a place of a turnaround. Uh -huh. You are at the place of something about to flip on your behalf and, and that the matter is here now. I don't know if you're going to get excited about that, but I come to declare the matter is here right now. If I can get about five of you, then I'll clap your hand and say better. Oh God, he wants the part of you, amen, that you haven't never given him before. He wants a part of you, amen, that you have been holding back on reserve. Uh -huh. You only give him what you want to give him, but God said, I know there's more in you because I created you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to stand up the gift. And a lot of times people don't want to work in their gifts. Uh -huh. If other folks are not working, uh, if other folks are not doing, then I'm not going to do. We are in this generation now where it is a monkey see, monkey do thing. If you don't come, I don't come. You don't jump, I don't jump. But I'm so glad I got my own mind in this season. I'm not going to be governed by whether you say hallelujah or by whether amen, you give thank you Jesus or by whether amen, you come to church. My covenant is so secure with God Amen. That I'm saying, Lord, I'm going to do what I got to do just to please you. <laughs> because me and God have a covenant. <laughs> so the devil, amen, doesn't like it. <laughs> he doesn't like it that you're trying your best. <laughs> he doesn't like it that you're trying everything you can to please God. <laughs> so what the devil does is he tries to fool you. Watch 
riches with pleasures. And pleasures is just like what was in the Garden of Eden before the great fall. It was pleasurable. Do you understand here? Let me say it like this. For some of you that don't understand what I'm saying when I say the Garden of Eden was pleasurable. Everything was right in the Garden of Eden. There was nothing wrong. It was pleasurable. But when the fall came, stuck with haywire because sin invaded. Can I go a little street for y'all? Let me say it in a street term. It's like this. See, it is just like this. I got to, and I don't care how drunk you get, you still got to pay the bill that you made before you got drunk. Can I get any help in here? That means, guess what? I told him to set it up. I told him to do it. And I got so drunk, mother, I forgot I had to pay the bill. Well, it's like this. A soul that sinned shall surely die. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing here. Well, you didn't like that one, but there's another one that said, you go We 